Uganda. Ugandan Parliament calls EU's pressure to end oil pipeline project racist. The European Parliament has requested the EU and the international community to put, quote, maximum pressure, unquote, on Uganda and Tanzania for their joint oil production and pipeline. As specified in the East African newspaper, the European Parliament is allegedly concerned about human rights abuses and environmental harm. The Parliament of Uganda dismisses the complaint out of hand, calling it, quote, economic racism, unquote, as per the East African. The East African crude oil pipeline will transport oil extracted from Uganda's Lake Albert oil fields to Tanzania's port of Tanga by means of a 1,443-kilometer pipeline. Once the East African crude oil pipeline is complete, it will be the longest heated crude oil pipeline in the world. Meanwhile, the EU is calling on Uganda to release, quote, human rights defenders, journalists, and civil society actors, unquote, that are still in custody. As reported by the East African, Thomas Tayebwa, deputy speaker of the Ugandan parliament said, quote, it is imprudent to say that Uganda's oil projects will exacerbate climate change, yet it is a fact that the EU bloc, with only 10% of the world's population, is responsible for 25% of global emissions, and Africa, with 20% of the world's population, is responsible for 3% of emissions. The EU and other Western countries are historically responsible for climate change. Who then should stop or slow down on development of natural resources? certainly not Africa or Uganda, unquote. The total cost of the pipeline is $5 billion and its construction is expected to be complete at the end of 2023. Nigeria. Nigeria, Morocco, and ECOWAS signed 7,000-kilometer gas pipeline agreement. On Thursday, September 15, 2022, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Office of Hydrocarbons and Mines of Morocco and ECOWAS for the construction of the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline. The pipeline will emanate from Brass Island, Nigeria and terminate in northern Morocco where it will be connected to the existing Maghreb European pipeline, which terminates in Cadiz, Spain as per Premium Times newspaper. As specified in the Punch newspaper, the 7,000-kilometer pipeline will provide about 3 billion standard cubic feet of gas per day along the West African coast from Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Gambia, Senegal, and Mauritania to Morocco. When complete in 2046, the pipeline will be the world's longest offshore pipeline. Nigeria. Nigerian oil production plummets due to theft, sabotage, and corruption. Nigeria is currently losing 470,000 barrels of crude oil per day to theft, vandalism, and corruption, causing Africa's decades-long largest oil producer to drop to fourth largest after Angola, Algeria, and Libya. As stated in AP News since April, Nigerian security forces have increased patrols in the oil-rich Niger Delta and have arrested more than 100 suspected oil thieves and confiscated $70 million worth of oil assets. Navy Commodore Adetone Ayoban told AP that the Nigerian Navy will continue to carry out operations in all our bases in Niger Delta to ensure the operation of illegal refinery sites are no longer possible. However, as stated in AP, local authorities accuse security forces of conspiring with oil thieves, while the Navy believes thieves are being helped by people inside the oil industry. As per AP, underinvestment and oil spills are also responsible for lower oil production in Nigeria.